factor the expression that defines the function. Let's go ahead and work through this solution. So let's go ahead and write our function again. So f of x equals, okay, so we have four terms. And so whenever you have four terms, factor by grouping is usually a good idea. So you look at the first two terms here and you ask yourself, what uh, do they have in common? Well, they both have a three in common. And they also both have, looks like an x squared in common. Then you put a parentheses and you ask yourself, what do you multiply by 3x squared in order to get 3x cubed? Well, we're just missing an x because x times x squared will give us the x cubed. Now you look at the next piece and you ask the question again, what do you multiply by 3x squared in order to get negative 9x squared? Just a negative 3 should do it. And then you close the parentheses. And you should always check, let's see, 3x squared times x is 3x cubed. 3x squared times negative 3 is negative 9x squared. All right, now we look at the next two terms, and we see what these have in common. It looks like they have a 5 in common. So I'm going to put a plus 5. And parentheses, and let's see, how do we get a 5x? Well, we need an x because 5 times x is 5x. And how do we get a negative 15? Looks like we need a negative 3. And 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. And the good news is that um, they both have an x minus 3 in common, so we can pull that out. If it's ever the case that these are different, um, then you either did it wrong or this method won't work. All right, so f of x is equal to now we can pull out the x minus 3, so x minus 3, and let's see, parentheses, what do we multiply by x minus 3 in order to get this top piece? Well, we just need a 3x squared. And then what do we multiply by x minus 3 in order to get this piece here? We just need a 5. And we have factored the expression that defines the function. I hope this video has been helpful.